Good morning. Back live from Los Angeles. Your judge, Howard Stern. Good morning. Ah. Uh, <laughs> ah, yeah. How was it? Hey, now. So we were feeling so good and everything about everything. And, and, and Beth and I were on a sort of vacation there. So she says to me on Saturday, hey, let's go get some tattoos. She was feeling like she wanted another one, too. Huh? Yeah. Well, we've both been talking about, we love our dog so much, Bianca, that she's 10 now. She's getting old, and she has arthritis, and, you know, we've been very sentimental about her. Did you take her, her, or you no, leave her home? No, no, no. No, we left her home, and uh, so she could not handle it. Oh. And so, I mean, she's okay. She's just old, and, and uh, we missed her, and we said, you know what? Let's go put her name. We want her name. We, we love her so much, we want her names on us. Uh-huh. So, um... All of a sudden, I realized that we're just going to... So she goes, let's go to L.A. Inc. because that's the one on TV. I go, you know, just because it's on TV... Doesn't mean it's good. Sometimes that can mean it's shitty, right. you know, because uh-huh. <laughs> who knows? We don't know just because it's on TV. So it dawns on me, we're just going to go to some tattoo place. We don't know anybody. So I quickly got on the line to um, Mark... I, I wrote an email to Mark McGrath because he's got tons of tats. Uh-huh. And uh, Bob Harper, the trainer from... Um, Oh, from uh, Biggest Loser. Biggest Loser. You're gonna... all over this NBC family, yeah, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, like everybody's are... talking to each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I go, hey. So I, I, but meanwhile, none of them get back to me right away. So Beth works on some TV show now. It's called, uh, it's on home, what's it called? HGTV. 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 Mom Caves? Mom Caves. Mm-hmm. And our co-host, not, not, he's not the co-host, he's the contractor who builds the Mom Cave. Okay. He, uh. He's some real good-looking dude. Of course. They always have a good-looking carpenter. And Beth goes, oh, he's got tons of great tats. Let's uh, let's get in touch with him. He'll tell us because he got his tats in L.A. So I'm like, what the fuck is going yeah, on what's here? going yeah, on yeah, in yeah, the right. mom what, caves, huh? Mom caves. I better tats. go to a taping of that. Right. <laughs> yeah, go there. See what he's doing. <laughs> you know, I keep hearing about this guy and how good-looking he is. Uh-huh. So... Anyway, so... He had the recommendation? He had the recommendation. Where'd you go? Ronnie, what's the name of the place we went to? Because, you know, another person who has a good tattoo artist is David Arquette. I can't believe you didn't call him. I didn't call him, but then by, McGrath got back to me and so did Bob Harper, but it was already too late. We were at the tattoo joint. Yeah. Everybody and had a different recommendation? This guy Connor did our tattoos. He owns the place. And we go in. You got to hear this. This is so crazy. This is why Twitter is dangerous. We're in L.A., we're getting tattooed. Ronnie goes over with us. And Ronnie's nuts. Mm-hmm. Ronnie just sees a, 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 a picture on the wall. <laughs> and says, put it on me? He goes, put that one on me. And it, I mean, it, it's this. But meanwhile, it was beautiful. Why are you making fun of me now? No, you, thought it was a, you thought it was nice. I'm saying it's just, but you're, you're wild like that. Like, I could never make that decision that quickly. The, the tattoo guy, artist, okay, it was Timeless Tattoo. Timeless Tattoo. The guy's name was West, Connor. West Hollywood. Right. Okay. Yeah. And t- Connor and Tawny. Yeah. The guy who did mine. He had drew this crazy skull. He had drawn. By the way, your grammar is he so fucking bad. He had drew. Right. This guy, you, got, you know what, by the way? You got to read his Twitter. Do you follow him on Twitter? I have to start following him. I don't know if you I do or not. You don't follow me? I don't know if I he do. What's wrong with he you? He can't spell. I follow you. Not only can he spell, but he. what was the word Ronnie was Turmoil. using? Turmoil. What did Look he at, say? Here, w- watch this. Look at this. What's wrong? The block party babies are causing major term, T-E-R-M, <laughs> Then a separate word, oil. Term oil? Term yeah. oil here. Oh, my goodness. Did you learn how to spell it? Yeah, T-U-R-M. Yeah, T-U-R-M. Right. What? And it's one it's word. Two wor- it's T-U-R-M one word. T-U-R-M oil. Yeah. yeah. But it's one word, Ron. All right. Don't term, don't use- what did you think term oil was before you... Uh... What I think it was? Yeah. I know what term oil is. It's like the end of term and oil no, or something? It's, it's, I see his Twitter and it's, it's term. Co- it's causing trouble is what it's yeah, doing. Term oil. Yeah, Shul- but why would Shuley, it be? Shuley was causing turmoil. His gra- you talk to him, you could lose all sense of the English language. <laughs> Let's get back to the text. He's got his own language. <laughs> Roddy. How the language. fuck did you get out of high school? It works school? for me. Yeah. You want me to bring in my diploma? I'll show it to you. Yeah, yeah but the report card is what I want Where's to see. Where's that school? Is it closed? <laughs> Class clown. <Yeah. laughs> Class clown. You don't know how many times my parents got called up for being a Class clown. Before we get to your tattoo, we go to the tattoo place, and the guy goes, okay. We, we see there's a there's a bench to sit on, but we realize it's not a bench. The guy goes, oh, that's a coffin. 
What? To, to baby coffin. No, it wasn't a baby coffin. I know. I thought he said it was a baby coffin. They're they getting, were getting a, a they're baby getting coffin. a baby coffin. What are you talking about? It's a coffin, like you die in, in the tattoo place. Yeah, yeah. They they use it as a bench to sit on, which is kind of cool. And a storage thing. They have all the magazines inside. Right. So, oh, that's disgusting. Yeah, and now they're getting a baby coffin, which was, we were like, hey, look, I thought that, <laughs> that there is was. So sick. I said, where's the baby coffin? <laughs> I want to sit on well, it. Well, I want to put Ronnie in it. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I bet you Ronnie would fit in a baby coffin. I bet. Stop it. So. The coffin's there. I open up. I say, Ronnie, get in there. So Beth goes, he's not going to get in there. I go, yes, he is. He doesn't give a shit. <laughs> so he gets in the coffin, and I take a picture of him. Lying there. And it's funny as hell. So I tweet it. Uh-huh. There it is. That's the one. That's Ronnie in the coffin. Oh, that's hysterical. And I wish it was a baby coffin. I, wish you, I want you to be wearing that shirt for real at the end. Yeah. <laughs> so I tweet it. Well, two seconds later, I start getting tweets back. Howard, that's disrespectful. Whitney Houston's funeral's going on. And what you're does that tweeting, have to do with Whitney? That, that, like, we're making fun. Like, there's Ronnie in the oh, casket. Oh, like you looked Whit at Whitney and yeah. then said, put Ronnie in a casket. I didn't even know Whitney's funeral was going right. on. I was like, I was at a tattoo place with a coffin, and I yeah. thought it was funny. But people are such assholes on Twitter. You know, they, they you know, you can't have fun with them at all. Right. I'm like, that's it. I'm done. <laughs> you always say that. Yeah, right. By the way, Ronnie looks good in a casket, it turns out. Actually, yeah, looks, he looks pretty looks good. good. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And he looks better in a casket than walking around. <laughs> right. He looks sort of mummified. He looks natural. And he's smiling. <laughs> when do you ever see him smile? You know, when, they, when you go to the funeral parlor and everybody says, he looks good. You know, they always go, what's Ronnie's look? Now we found it. <laughs> so, it. Yeah, Laid in the box. So, uh, anyway, like, there's just a drawing on the thing. I said, Ron, it's, so he saw, it's a skull with a grasshopper he coming out. He loves his skulls. It's a skull, but it doesn't look like a skull. It was a really cool drawing, and there's a grasshopper coming out of the skull's eye. Oh, it's a God. Cricket. Cricket. Uh, yeah, yeah, a cricket. cricket. And uh, it was pretty cool. And the, and the eyeball falling out of the oh. other socket. Oh. Right. So, <laughs> it's, really, it's really cool. Beautiful. It so is. He's admiring it. I was actually admiring the drawing. He goes, hey, uh, can you put that on my arm? I said, yeah, I'll pay for it. So I bought him his tattoo. This is the second tattoo I bought for him. Really? The first one and the last one. Yeah. Oh, Show me your tattoo. It? I think so, yeah. Where is it? Where'd um, you get this one? Right here on my forearm. Let me see. Um, yeah. Helps. Hey, he's got to take off his whole coat. Yeah, that helps. Hey, can I take something up with you, though, man? Something weird's going on. I think I'm going to have to yell at you about what? it. What? Okay. So I get this call from, oh, no, I got an email from Dan, the song parody man. Yeah. And he said to me, um, Howard, oh, yeah, there's your tattoo. Show it to Robin. See? He's got a, it's, it's a skull, but, but it doesn't look like a skull. It doesn't look like a skull. Right. Yeah, I'm looking at it at a weird angle. It, the mm -hmm. light's hitting it wrong. But Ronnie doesn't I'll even, look at it later. Ronnie doesn't put any thought into it. He's just like, put that on my arm. I don't care where you put it. Because right now it looks like a blue blob. Yeah. <laughs> but the, guy, the, guy, the guy drew it. Yeah. And he had it in a, it was in a picture frame. Yes. It wasn't like something they had in the magazine. Right. And he never did it before. He's never put it on anybody. There so might have been a reason like a for that. Thing. <laughs> well, so I anyway. Thought it was cool. I thought it was cool. It was different. So here's something i got to take up with you real quick. What? So Dan the Song Parody Man writes me an email. Right. And he says, hey, Howard, uh, Beecher's Madhouse got a phone call saying that you're coming in tonight. Howard Stern is coming in. And no, no, no. See, let, that, let, me just, let me finish. Wait a minute. Let him tell, let me finish. tell I'll us tell you what, what I he got. Go ahead. Beecher's Manhouse said they got a call that Howard wants to come in tonight with a group of people. And uh, Dan just wanted me to confirm that it was me, that it wasn't a hoax. Right. So I wrote him back. I said, it's a hoax. It's not me. I'm not coming in. Someone's using my name. So when this is the story I got. Okay. Okay. When, they, when the people show up who did the hoax, it's these two hot chicks and Ronnie's with them. Ronnie the limo driver, Mund. Huh. Yeah. yeah. So they say to him, it wait. It is Howard Stern. <laughs> yeah. And so it was like, they, they go, well, this was for Howard Stern. Why did you do that? This and that, the other thing. So they threw him out. Oh. And No, we didn't throw us out. We walked out. You, you walked out? We walked out. Well, why do you? It wasn't in your name. That yeah. was the whole thing. But they were contacted. Howard no, Stern no, no, was no, mentioned. No. Here's what it was. How was Howard Stern mentioned? Dan wrote me an email. Let me tell you what happened. All right, go ahead. Okay? It was this Tiffany Granite from the Playboy Channel. Yeah. Called up. Go ahead. And made a reservation with some guy named Eric Espinoza. Okay. Okay? Saying that she wanted to come in with her friend from the Howard Stern Show. Well, there you go. Didn't mention Ronnie at all. Yeah, me. 
It's yeah, Mitt me. Romney. No, she said me. Yep, Not from you. the Howard Stern show. Right, that she was coming in with me from the Howard Stern show. She shouldn't do that. What, what? Listen to me. Don't let your friends do that. I didn't they know thought it was the it Howard that Stern way. show. I knew when we walked in, that's how it was. Yeah, but, but do me wasn't... a favor, because right. you're doing good. I don't want you to fuck this no, up. No, no, I'm not. I... Tell your little friends. Why you know, do you have so many friends? He's oh, he's busy. He, this guy doesn't go to bed till three the in the morning. Friends. He is what, L.A. One, that was uh, the oh, one night. Gonna get you well, into trouble. Saturday night was the only night I went out because that was the, we were done and right. everything was finished and we went out. But then you go on Twitter. You're bashing Beecher's Madhouse because they they, were, they but, treated us but, like garbage. But Ronnie, because the person you didn't make the call. They called up and said they're coming no, in from I the Howard Stern the show. Call. I didn't even know about the call. The owner flew back because he heard I was coming in. You caused them a lot of trouble. I didn't mm. cause anything. You got to tell your friends not to say how the name Howard Stern and your friend should not be the same. Understood, but I didn't know anything. So what about are you trashing it? the guy for? What did because he do they wrong? Because he treated us like shit. Yeah, because they were all right, pissed. Well, no, all they had to do was <clears> say, <throat> "Hey, listen, you know." They made the reservation under false pretense. I didn't know that, that. ain't cool. I didn't know that, and I know it because Dan wrote me beforehand. Yeah. I read the note. Does Ronnie realize that the doorman that he yelled at was actually Beecher? Yeah, that was Beecher. And he was pissed. He flew all the way back from, I don't know where he was. He was on business Vegas. somewhere. From Vegas. Because well, he heard I was him. coming in. Well, boo-hoo for Yeah, because him. he was, he was, he, yeah, well, he because to, he's he'd, pissed. He'd have to be so nasty, though. Yes, he does. Why? And then, he, no, he was lied to. from Vegas. He was lied to. He was let lied me, to. Let, well, then how come we were up in the restaurant 15 minutes later? Yeah. He sent some, like, PR girl up to us. Because he was nervous. Apologizing and then wanted us to come to the show. And we said, no, we don't want to go now. Yeah, because he was nervous. He hears Howard Stern and he thinks he's going to get, you know, he, he even they even wrote a note and said, listen, I've always treated the people from the Howard Stern show to, to all kinds of things. He goes, I, w I was told Howard Stern was coming in. I ran back I from Vegas. No, I, nobody yeah, but your friend shouldn't say I anyone. Know what, just tell your friends to make their own reservation and not to mention well, Howard Stern. Well, that's what I was under the assumption. Well, don't be under an assumption that because your friends it, are using my name. name. Why aren't you yelling at your friend? Yeah, you yelled at Beecher. You should have said to this girl, hey, fuck nuts. Don't mention Howard Stern to get into places. I didn't know she did that. Well, don't. Uh, you know, He's if still you not be, angry at her. Oh, no. Because she's a hot chick. Right. <laughs> I want you to tweet today something nice about Beecher. Wow. And something bad about her. And something bad well, about Dave, her. Well, David said shit about him, too. So well, that's his business. <laughs> so let him tweet that. You're, listen, you're out there. When you're rolling with me. All right. You, but you, I didn't you know did so you... good the whole trip. You told that guy no pictures. You know right. what I mean? You, right. you, you, know, you, you were professional. was proud of you. Then and then you had to bullshit. go out. Then you go out. You, night. <laughs> when we travel now, no going out. All right. Stay no in. No that problem. way you don't fuck up. No problem. I got no problem with that. Right. Oh, let him go out in San Francisco. <laughs> 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 He's a lunatic. <laughs> he does so good, and then he fucks he up. He has to. I didn't he has do it. To. You do so well, and you I screw it up. I didn't do it. Ha Ronnie, please take responsibility. All right, I did it. You, you friend, you had a friend who did something wrong. Okay, but I didn't know. I didn't know the friend did something wrong. And then, and then Ronnie was there, made a scene. He, according to the email, he yelled at um, Beecher, "Go get no. Jeff Beecher, you loser!" Oh, yeah, he's a big shot. No, I did not. You can't be a big shot with my that. name associated. Just remember that it's going to blow right. everything. All right, I'm not going to be able to take you with me. All right, you know, mm. you understand. All right. You want to be like the bodyguard from that Whitney Houston movie, or All you right. want to be? All right, I was. All right. <laughs> Melrose, you're on the air. Oh, Howard, thank you for the amazing time. I had the most fun of my life. Was Melrose there with signs? Yeah, he fit right in. <laughs> this was the one place Melrose looked normal. <laughs> no signs. He had no yeah, signs. no, I saw no a sign. Signs. I saw him with a sign outside. He, yeah, uh, but not inside. They I probably took it up, Ronnie. I didn't want you to yell at me, Ronnie. They probably I took it away from him. Why do they take away signs? That's kind of fun that you have signs. Um, I didn't there were want people to with signs it. up in the were balcony. They? I saw people with signs. Yeah. Now you tell me. Did you hear me saying hello to you, Ronnie? Yeah, I heard you, dude. But I, I can't come no, over and walk over and say hello to you. He was like a sentry. He wouldn't even speak, huh? No, no he did well. That's what I'm saying. Oh, then he goes out he, with his little friends from the Playboy channel, and he fucks everything up. Oh. And he's yelling at Beecher, and he's tweeting. Beecher's a fucking... Well, why didn't Beecher just say something to me like, hey, you know, you're because not here Because he Howard. was pissed off. He was told... But I didn't do anything he to was him scammed. until he started acting like an ass. He was scammed. And you should tell your friends, you should call them and say, hey, you fuckers, don't use Howard's name. I will, now, from that, the I Howard know, now that I know. 
I mean, what is that? I'm telling you, he'll be so nice to yeah. that girl. She'll never know she did anything oh, wrong. Baloney. She'll Howard, never Howard. know she did anything yeah. wrong. Because she's got big tits. <laughs> oh, she does have big tits. <laughs> yeah, Melrose? <laughs> you were brilliant as a judge. Brilliant. A lot of fun, a lot of fun. You were, the chemistry was unbelievable. Yeah, it was good. You know what? I, I'm so glad I, I decided to do this job. I really am. It was good. Can I just say one Did thing? Did you have a good time, Ronnie, or was it like kind of work for you? It was all work, but it, you know what? Everybody's mm. so nice there that you don't, you, know, you don't feel like you're really, you know, get working that hard, you know? Right. It's, it made work run, a pleasure. It runs, it runs like a machine. It's great. They it got really that is. thing down to a science. I mean, you've got it's to move awesome. in and out these acts, and some of them have huge setups. Uh-huh. Like when you get guys who are like like um, like like these skater dudes, and you got to set up these skater massive, dudes. Yeah, yeah, you know, skaters and bicycles, and they yeah, had the you ramps. Know. Bicycles? What? What are you talking about? Yeah, well, you know, it's not just musicians. <laughs> it's but everything. bicycles? Yeah. Well, what is that entertainment? Oh, here's Beecher. Wait a second. Ooh. <laughs> and now he's up at this time of the morning. Hey, Jeff. Hey, Howard. How yeah, are let you? me apologize because. Uh, Dan, the song pirate man, sent me an email and said, uh, "Hey, mm. did you, you know, that someone called up obviously and gave you fake information, and said I was coming We're, in." Yeah, and I, you know, I flew back for my vacation. Oh, you were on vacation. Ooh. Because Howard, you're a god, and of course I'd be there to greet you because you've been so amazing to me and my company for a decade. Thinking it was you, and then we found that it wasn't you. It was Ronnie's friend, and Ronnie is with him. Wait a second. Yeah. yeah. Let, let me let me go let me go over this with him. Do you do you have a guy named Eric Espinosa working for you, Espinosa or something? I know we can go through ten names. The, the bottom line is the girl that was with you. Tiffany, wait, Tiffany. Can Tiffany I talk says, for a second? Howard, well, let's I... hear what Jeff has to say. Yeah, we heard your he thing. He has to get her another mention. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah, you don't mention her. Do me a favor. All right. All right. What is it, Jeff? You were saying? <laughs> She's the so one who made girl it all. Said Howard's coming in with people from his show. Right. That that was what she said. So I come in to greet you, of course. And then Dan told me last minute that it was all to make believe. So at that point, I just wanted to face the person that would put this whole Hold on a second. Together. Did you hear what he said? Your little friend there well, calls up and says that, Howard's okay? coming in because she wants VIP Am treatment. Am I supposed to know that? I didn't know that. Know your friends. Know your friends. Who are you hanging <laughs> with? Big shot. <laughs> so, should see him walking around there. Yeah. Stop so then, it. Like, I just wanted walk, to walk around like you're two feet Who tall. Who was I walking around <laughs> with? What? Who was I walking around with? I don't know. I see you walking around. The whole around. time I was with you. Where, who was I walking around? You were walking around with, around with me. <laughs> you, I was walking around. I hung out w most nights with Don and Tony. Right. Yeah, you're all having a party. <laughs> well, I'm working. No, Go it ahead. was after work. So it was with these two middle-aged ladies, and they were like drunk, belligerent, obnoxious, screaming, you don't know who we are. We're going to bury you on the radio. Tell them, Ronnie. Tell them, Ronnie. Ronnie's like, yeah, we're going to bury you. And they just called me a penguin. Oh, wow. Ronnie, I didn't Ronnie, call you a penguin. Ronnie. She called you a penguin. Wow, Ronnie. You're, but I know you said you're going to bury him on the radio. You got to no, stop No, I did it. not say that. Yeah, I heard about it. She this. said she would bury him on the radio. You didn't say I that? I said Twitter. Oh, you no, you're going to bury him on Twitter. Yeah. Wow. Then how, then how come, how come so he said... But do you see why he's pissed? Ten. Yeah, but why didn't he just say to me, hey, listen, dude, I, I thought Howard was coming. I'll get I to that. I'll get to why I didn't say you, that. You treated me like I was some kind of piece right, of Peter, shit. All right, Peter, go ahead on. talk to me normal and say, hey, listen, we thought right, Howard right. was coming. This radio show, Howard's show, literally made my career for 10 years. All right, years, but Jeff, go ahead with what happened the rest of the night. I would do anything for anyone on the show. These girls were so obnoxious. Of course. And the way they, they, they lied and they made a radio station name, and they wouldn't even own, own up to it when I was like, guys, listen, you busted. It's not happening. Then they started screaming and attacking me, and then they started screaming, go get Jeff Beecher. So at that point, I was like, all right, this is a wrap. These guys are crazy, and they're all drunk. I'm just like, get the fuck out of here. Were you guys drinking? Uh, I had one drink before we went. Oh, okay. That was it. All right. <laughs> all right, Jeff. Uh, thank you for that explanation. That's why the guy was pissed. He came back from vacation yeah, from Maine. Yeah, you're still not even uh, making... Uh, an allowance for that. The guy flew back right, from his vacation. Fine, but you were on vacation, Ronnie. Why, Let me put, put yourself in Jeff Beecher's shoes. Why did he say that to me? He just looked at me like it was Because some... he was scammed. He doesn't know what oh, you're well, And he was scammed. I didn't How's make... he supposed to know? <laughs> he said to me, he, didn't he just say this girl called and made the reservation? I didn't know. But how does he know you didn't know and you don't know that he, what she right, did? Right, exactly. I didn't know. Yeah, but what? then you're bad mouthing the guy. Get some information well, before you bad mouth. Well, he could have said to me. And, 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 and Again, Ryan, you're yeah. telling him what he could have said. You what about your friends wait, taking wait, responsibility? Wait, yeah, oh, fine. Let him take responsibility. But I didn't know about it. He could have taken me on the side and said, listen, oh. these girls are a belligerent. If I, don't, I... I thought Howard was coming. I'm sorry. You know, 
we're not going to let you in. Just if say, I had come off don't my say vacation, get the fuck out of here. I'd be pissed. If I had come off my vacation to meet Howard Stern and you showed up, <laughs> well, that's what happened. I didn't. Listen, I didn't, guy guy was, I didn't know the guy was on vacation. Roddy, you're in I Vegas. Didn't. You're in Vegas. You get word Vegas. that Howard Stern's coming into your establishment, and you leave your vacation to take care of him, and then you find out Ronnie Limo Driver's little friends have, you know. Well, I didn't know that. Yeah. That's what I'm telling you. You keep blaming it on me. I didn't know. Well, you gotta you gotta say something to your friends now. You All gotta right. go back don't and say, don't use. Don't let people make reservations for you. Say, don't use my boss's name because well, I didn't well, know basically, she, I know she, you, Howard. I don't she know her. She told me she put it under her name. Well, was that the case, Jeff? Not even close. Right. Well, that's and, right. And that's Ronnie, what I, I'll, I'll accept it. That's what I. That's why apologize. I was. That's what I was told. Okay. Where is your apology? Where's your Twitter apology? Mm. Go back now and compose. I can't tweet during the show. I'll do it later. I'm giving you special permission. I'll do it later. All right. All right, Beecher. Later. I'll go back to sleep. Good night. Bye. Bye. You're bad-mouthing the guy in his place. You're terrible. Okay, You're out of why control. Could, You're why out of control. Why couldn't the guy talk to me normal? Because he was pissed. <laughs> That's not my fault. But, I didn't no, know. But your friends are putting you in that position. That's the point. You're not, you never get it. I got it. I do. No, I you got don't. it. No, could you keep saying this guy should have been reasonable? Well, he could have talked to Something me like a human. Something unreasonable happened to him. Talk to you like a human. Oh, Robin, come on now. He could have talked to Big me like shot. a human being. Oh, stop Big it. Shot. Tell me, get if the I fuck out of here. If I had paid money to come home and you were standing I there. I didn't know that. Well, he didn't know it either. Well, I didn't know it either. So why why am I being the one? <laughs> he didn't tweet anything bad about you. You could at least thing. understand instead I of screaming understand. that he could have done something screaming. different. Oh, boy. Here we go. Hmm. Here we go. It's the always language. this way with Ronnie. Yeah, always right. this way with Ronnie. You're always there with the... What, ha what happened with the new Robin? What, she go out the fucking window now? No, I'm not emasculating you. I'm yeah, trying bullshit. to talk to you. <laughs> the new Robin. Yeah. The new Robin. Where is the no, new Robin? There's no goddamn new Robin, believe me. <laughs> right. That's You're damn right there's not. <laughs> All right, I tell you what, I'm going to take a break. Look, no, I, I did another one of those seminars. I think guys yeah, are awesome. Yeah, right. <laughs> You're awesome. Yeah, thank when you. you when you're uh, when sane. You, right. <laughs> anyway, when we get back, I'll get to the phones. We'll talk to some folks. I'm the asshole. <laughs> you now go tweet. you're talking. Yeah, I'm not tweeting till after the show. Right. <laughs> but it was fun, wasn't it? I have no idea. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it was great. I'm looking forward to the next trip. All right, thank you. Please don't go out with any of your All girlfriends. Right. No, I don't know anybody in San Francisco. Ah, okay? good. Good. Goodbye. <laughs> he doesn't know anyone in San Francisco, thank God. He can't God. get yeah. into trouble. Right. Oh, he'll get into trouble. Oh, you know there's some strip club he knows oh, in San Francisco that he can find somebody to get right. him into trouble. Yeah, after I got my tattoo, I was like, look, like uh, Beth goes, oh, let's tweet pictures of our tattoos. I go, you know what? I prefer not to because I feel good about my tattoo. And I don't need about you know a what? million assholes writing me back saying, oh, you fucking asshole. <laughs> you fucking tattoo. What fuck kind you. of fucking tattoo That's was that? That's bullshit. Fuck you. I, I, fuck this. I'm not sharing. But then you did. No, she, I, she tweeted hers. I didn't tweet mine. I thought there were pictures of both of you getting tattoos. Getting, but I didn't want to oh, show them. okay. It's bullshit. <laughs> you didn't show the finished product. I came this close to getting an America's Got Talent tattoo. That's how happy I was. Wow. <laughs> now, where did you yeah. put the tattoo? On my wrist. Well, let me see. Oh, how cute. No, it's just cute. I'm cute. <laughs> Everything about me is cute, Robin. <laughs> oh, Ron, you've probably been told since you were a, <laughs> since you were a young, a young lad, you got to watch who you associate yourself with. You got to oh, pick, stop you, it. you know, you, you know, can, you're talking like now you're talking you like can a, pick your friends, talking but you can't like a pick total your friends' moral nose. Now. I mean, you, I'm, I'm sure you've heard this Dude, type of advice since you, know you were what? young. Talk like a, a normal person, or don't talk to me, because you're talking like an idiot now. Oh, uh, this is what Jeff from Beach's Madhouse got the same type of talk to me like a person. I didn't talk to him. How did he speak to you? Give me an example of the types of things he said. Take a I'll see you later. Ron, can I finish? Uh... You're finished. If you're going to ask dumb questions like that, you're finished. No, I'm just saying, probably since a young age. Here we go again. You were taught, you know, be careful about who you associate yourself with. And then especially, I was you, you didn't let me finish. Dude, these are girls. They, they, they were fine. They, were, they had a couple of drinks in them, okay? I didn't know they made the reservation mentioning Howard, okay? Let's get that straight for the 97th time, okay? Okay. The, the, the reservation was under the name Tiffany Granite, as far as I knew, okay? In the aftermath of this incident, 
What did you say to Tiffany? With the way I was treated? I didn't say anything to her. I was treated like shit. Like, any, any, like you know, I'm a human person. You could have fucking said something to me like, you know, take me on the side and say, listen, you know, we thought Howard was coming. Tiffany made this reservation under her name, but must have said that he was coming. I had no idea about that, okay? You had, and I didn't know it was Jeff Beecher, because I don't know Jeff Beecher from a hole in the wall that I was talking to. And to be t told to get the fuck out of here, that it's not fucking happening like that, well, then you're going to get talked to the same way you talk to me. I don't need all the bread. But as far as Tiffany sort of put you in a precarious position, I mean, that's not fair on her part. Dude, I didn't know this until we... I know, but in retrospect, now that you All right, so now I know, okay? So what is that? What is? will you say to her? She kind of got you in trouble with your boss. Well, I'll talk to her later about it, okay? I'll discuss it with her, not you. It's amazing what we'll do for a pretty face. Right.